All right, today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Raspberry Pi 5 case by Flerk. As you can see, if you've had a Raspberry Pi case by Flerk before, this should look pretty familiar. Start with the little slip cover and we open it up. And we pull it out. Here we have our Flirk case. You might notice there are some things that are the same. USB and Ethernet uh, is pretty similar, as is the place for the HDMI ports and the USB-C port. The one big change, of course, is this little area for the button and the light, which we'll look into here in just a second. So let's open it up. And as always, it comes with the bottom, the case itself, which acts as the heatsink, and the connector for the heatsink, uh, and then some screws and a heatsink pad. Now you may notice that this heatsink pad is not the same size as the heatsink. That's because this pad is specifically designed to fit on the Raspberry Pi 5's CPU heatsink, which is narrow and rounded. You'll note this thermal pad is not the full size of the Flirk heatsink. Instead, we got one that's the right size for the Pi 5, which you can put right over the bended, rounded off portion of the Raspberry Pi 5's heatsink, allowing it to connect up nicely with this case. The other thing you'll notice is this little piece of plastic. This little piece of plastic includes the button that you use to turn the Raspberry Pi 5 on and off and what's called a light pipe, which is just a little piece of plastic which transmits the light from the Pi to the outside of the case. As you can see, we have a nice little spot right here where this piece goes. A quick look to see which side the button is on. You'll see the button side sticks out a little bit more. So we just slide it right in and pop in like that. Oh, and you get a nice little click when the light pipe settles in place. Now you are ready to install your Raspberry Pi 5. Now this is an unboxing video, not a setup video, but if people would like to see a Pi 5 installed, no problem. Let us know in the comments. We can certainly arrange that. Here's what it looks like on the other side. Okay, I just wanted to make one quick additional point. As you can see, we have a thermal pad right here, which is specifically designed for the Raspberry Pi 5 case. In this instance, Flerk has actually sourced two different kinds of thermal pads. It's worth pointing out that one of them, this one, comes with blue plastic film that is pretty standard. You pull the piece of film off, put the thermal pad on the Raspberry Pi 5, pull the other piece of film off, and then stick the whole shebang to your Flirk case. The second version, though, looks just like this. This version is just a thermal pad itself without any film. This thermal pad will work just as well as the one with film. It's just a slightly different style, film-free. As long as you put compression between the Pi's heatsink and the Flirt case, the heat will transfer just as well with both thermal pads. It's important to note that if you get this one that's pink, you don't need to pull off any pieces of film, while if you get the one that's blue, you definitely will. And that's the Raspberry Pi 5 Flirt case. Have a great day!